Most people in life are looking for how do we sustain our economy? How do we keep people thriving and how do we all remain eating during a time of COVID? Across America, throughout the Midwest at the very least, there is a shortage of retail employees, especially in the food handling industry. The preparation and cooking of food is truly an art form. It is absolute truth that you can go to a fast food restaurant on one day, taste the best hamburger and the best potatoes that you've ever had, and go another day and find that it's a different flavor. It doesn't add up to the company standard, the professional brand of that national corporation. It usually implies that the person who's on staff has altered the recipes, interfered with the flavoring, or despised the company without thinking about this is not a short order cook situation, this is a professional standard that people expect when they come to that restaurant. We do have people that resent others that have the ability to drive through those places to pick up food. A lot of times they are people who come from poverty who go into those restaurants to quickly get a job. The problem is that we cannot use the concept of numbers, it just goes by the numbers, to st staff and stock those corporations. We have to be talking to high school students, we have to be willing to go to the collegiate offices that help corporations to solicit jobs. It's amazing the number of managers that I have talked to in fast food from Hardy's restaurants to Arby's restaurants to, gosh, even Jimmy John's, that I have humbly suggested if they're struggling with employees, as they often allude after we've become sort of friends and sort of business colleagues, when they start to stress about they're sorry about how long it took or whatever because they're short staff or someone called off or someone didn't show and they refuse to get off their ass or care to go to those offices to put in a information packet about what jobs are available to college students who help them to prepare food. It's sort of a loving kindness to prepare people food today. People are in a rush, they're on the go, and they need to feed their families despite their lack of time, their time management challenges, their inability to get to the grocery store to do things. What we have to be careful of is who we're hiring to handle our food. What I observed in boys who work in those places is a lot of immaturity. What I've seen in those places amongst young women, especially if they're not yet of the age of majority, is an overworking of them beyond the credits to the law that require them to be home by a certain time or have less hours because of their age. But openly what I also see is managers flirting with young people. Usually those managers are not American citizens in terms of how they look, feel, act, and their accents, which means that someone in their corporation hired them without teaching them not to do that. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth as a journalist, as an opinionist, as a columnist, as a reporter about what we see. And what we see is we are a nation that is sending our children to college but not sending them to corporations at all, not true, not sending them into programs that help to sustain our economy. Retail is something that is slowly dying, which is great for companies that are helping us to shop by home. And those services are really helpful to the busy family, the corporate executive, the busy business person, it's true, where we can build our business or we can build our home with things that are vented to us straight to the home. But for those of us who live in squalor, those of us who live in poverty, we don't have the mailbox to send those things to. So we need the opportunity to walk in a store, to feel a fabric, to touch something, to look over food, to choose what we're going to take home for our discretionary dollars. When I'm talking about this, I'm trying to encourage parents who have children who enjoy cooking or children they've taught to cook almost to a master chef level to encourage their kids to go off during high school years for part-time gigs in our food industry. We have to protect the sanctity, the sanitation, and the safety of American food.